The scene at 5.30 this morning, flames shooting from the engine and front end of this Lewiston police cruiser after it struck the back of a tractor trailer on Military Road at the 190 exit ramp. And the police officer was inside until he could be rescued by colleagues. He was unconscious and pinned in the vehicle and they were able to, to extricate him and remove him from the vehicle. It was pretty much fully involved in all the, the engine compartment and it was quite a bit of damage even to the to the interior of the vehicle. And even before responding police got there, that truck's driver taking action. He felt the impact. He exited the vehicle, he saw the, the, the fire and he grabbed his fire extinguishing materials from his tractor trailer and hit the fire and knocked it down before the officers were there. But had he not done that, it would have had that much more of a start. Lewiston officer Cody Briere, who also works the midnight shift, and state trooper Adam Moan, both working with crowbars to pry open the police cruiser's jam door to get to the trapped officer, despite the intense flames. You can feel the heat, you can feel everything that's usually singeing the hair on your body and you're attempting to save somebody or get him out of that, where most people will be running the other direction. So. I'm very proud of the officers, but if you ask them, they'll tell you, you know, I was just doing what I was trained to do or doing my job. There's more to this story. The officer who was rescued this morning was first on scene as this house was fully involved in flames on Saunders Settlement Road back on December 8th. The person inside tragically died, but a valiant rescue effort back then by that same officer. Attempting to to rescue somebody out of a burning building where he had smoke inhalation and he received second degree burns. He had to go be treated at the hospital and he's getting an award for that. And now he finds himself in a situation where he's got people coming to rescue him. Now there is a full accident investigation with assistance by the Niagara County Sheriff's Office and a separate departmental investigation to determine the exact circumstances as a police SUV hit the back of the truck. They have not found anything wrong so far in the actions of the truck driver, according to Chief Previtt, the Lewiston officer being treated at ECMC for a broken rib, broken ankle and head injuries with further testing underway. On your side, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.